let's go to 2 Timothy 2 and 23. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes. So if you are trying to serve God, if you are trying to minister to people, you really have to understand this right here. Because you are going to run into many types of people. Usually, people who are really wicked and know that they are wicked. So you have to know, okay, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid. So this is not saying so much as stupid questions because there are some people who don't know anything about God who really wants to know about God. So their question may seem basic, but this is not what it is talking about. What this is speaking about, people who are asking questions, not to learn, but to argue and fight. And usually you can catch a hold to this by what attitude the people are in and how they are seeing it. Or let's say that you are speaking about something and if they throw in this random question that is not really a question and they are really being rude and stuff like that, they are not looking for an answer. They are looking for a fight. As a servant of God, you don't fight with anyone. You don't argue with anyone. You can tell the people what the Bible says, but if people come at you in the wrong way, you stay away from people like that because they are not trying to learn. For instance, sometimes I have people comment to me, like in a very rude way, but they are asking a question in a very rude, insulting way. I don't answer their question because they are not looking for the answer. You can give them the right answer and they can know that it is the right answer, but they are not going to receive it because they are not looking for the answer. They are looking for a fight. So you have to know whether a person is trying to fight with you or if a person is trying to get the answer for you, from you. And it is really easy because a person's attitude, if they are really looking for the answer, they are going to be more humble. If they come to you with this, you know, <laughs> attitude like that, you know, or, you know, moving their head and stuff like that, you know, stay away from that. Let me tell you this story. I had this one woman, this one woman I used to contact, she contacted me, I believe she texted me, and she was pretty much saying, I want you to answer my questions. You need to defend your God. I'm like, what? <laughs> I did not even answer her questions because she wanted to fight with me. You have to understand some people's lives are so bad that they find enjoyment in arguing with you, with people. You have to understand that. I know for many of us, we like positivity. We like good things. But some people love chaos. Give me a second.
Some people love chaos. It is true. Crazy, but it is true. And you may say, well, why do you think people like that like to argue and fight? Well, psychological issues. Demonic issues. So when you account for that, it should really make sense. Because a normal person is not going to want to argue with people all day, every day, or often. That is not normal. Does that make sense? So know what answers, no. Know what questions to answer and know what questions to not answer. Because some people just want to vent. Does that make any sense? Never, ever, 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 ever get to the point where you are arguing with a person about God. You don't have to argue a person. You don't have to argue with a person about God. Just tell them what you need to tell them and go on your way. That's it. Don't fight with people with God. Makes no sense. You are telling a person about God, but you are doing something that you are not supposed to do. You are not supposed to argue. An arguing Christian. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> An arguing servant of God. Yes, I serve God and I argue. <laughs> Holiness are use. <laughs> I really hope that makes sense, man. Don't argue with people. If you answer the question and then they come back with you with some foolishness, just leave. Because they are not trying to get the answer. If they did, the way that they would ask the questions would be different. So, let me stop right here. I really hope you learn something. Because I know many of us make this mistake. I know I did many times especially with atheists. Just tell them what you need to, then bounce, then leave. I really hope you understand this. God bless.